What's up everybody? This is your girl T Green coming back at you with another video. So today I'm actually going to be accomplishing my second ever grocery haul. Um, I only, I've only done one grocery haul before and today I had to go out and do groceries because we just relocated into our new town home and I did not want to worry about having to transport all that food. So today I'm actually going to be hauling four different grocery um, stores, groceries from four different stores. One, I went to Kroger. Um, I went to the 99 cent only store. I went to King Dollar and I also went to Walmart. And the reason I went to four different stores is because I am a very picky shopper and there are certain things that I will only buy at certain places. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the haul. And the first store that we are going to be uh, looking at is going to be the 99 cent only store. And at this store, um, I go and get my produce. I've mentioned this once before. When I know that I'm going to be using the produce pretty quickly, like within the next a uh, couple of days or so and that's pretty much where we are I have been trying to come up with a plan to reduce our waste because it's just my husband and myself and we have struggled with uh, throwing away you know food that we couldn't eat fast enough and things like that and so I hate the idea of waste and so usually I do groceries on Sunday and Wednesday and I try to meal prep but I haven't meal prepped in a while because that is part of the waste that we're experiencing so jumping right into the grocery haul the first thing we have the hubby wanted some uh, soda and I try to get him clear soda as opposed to dark soda soda is not good anyway but I can't drink soda because of my bariatric surgery so that is for the hubby and then here we have two mango um, and keep in mind that everything at the 99 cent store is either 99 cents or two for 99 or 99 cents a pound. You know, there's a variation of 99 cents. So everything in there is not 99 cents. Um, it just depends on what items you're buying. But so far. Um, and then I have these baby carrots. Um, I also picked up some bananas. And he, I, I like the green grapes, which I had already purchased them. Um, and my husband liked these red grapes. And so here we have some uh, great tomatoes. And then I also picked up these yellow cherry tomatoes, which I really like those. Um, I picked up some cilantro because we're going to be having tacos. And I made sure that I grabbed the vegetable medley. And then here you have the carrots and you have broccoli and cauliflower. And these are going to be roasted with the uh, Brussels sprouts that I picked up. Now I dropped the bottle for the <laughs> for the uh, zesty Italian dressing and I'm actually going to try a different recipe and instead of using balsamic vinegar or um, oil and vinegar or just oil uh, on the Brussels sprouts I'm going to try uh, marinating them in the dressing first before I put them in the oven. I also picked up um, some bread. This is the uh, white uh, bread made with whole grain. I was looking for hoagie rolls, but they didn't have any this time. So this is a new item that I want to try out. And they are the olive uh, tortilla chips. I got two, one for me and one for my husband. We are actually going to be doing a couple of these items. We're going to be doing a uh, video taste test. So I'm going to be tasting these and seeing. I usually get him uh, the tropical fruit or the mixed fruit in the little containers, the four pack containers, but they didn't have those so I grabbed the cans. Um, he likes to eat prunes and um, he also likes dates or excuse me, figs. Well, he likes dates too, but I got the figs. Um, another item that I've tried in the past and I, and I was getting this from um, I want to say that I picked it up from Target was probably the only place that I was able to find it. Definitely not the apples and cinnamon. It was the brown sugar and cinnamon. Um, not really a huge fan of apples, but I wanted to try it because it is the super grain. Now, if you look closely, the super grain, um, one thing I can tell you is that the packets produce more um, oatmeal and I've mentioned this in another um, video that these the one packet of this produces more oatmeal than 
uh, just one packet of the regular oatmeal. I think it comes out to almost like two packets of the regular oatmeal. But that's because it has the oat, the barley, rye, flat, rye flax, and quinoa. And so with all those grains, it makes it a little bit bulkier. Another item that I've had before, um, I haven't had the red velvet, um, but this is kind of like a little treat. It's the 100 calorie uh, Special K crisp, and this is in the red velvet flavors. So we're gonna be trying these out and seeing what we think of those. Um, I picked up this limited edition, the Nature Valley Crunch Bars, and this flavor is in gingerbread. So we're gonna, this, these, these two items are gonna be in the, um, the when, we're, when we're doing a taste test. I also picked up uh, a couple of the Serrano and one of the um, Jalapeno, Serrano and one of the Jalapeno peppers. So we're gonna check those out and I'm gonna use those in my tacos. And then I picked up a squash and a zucchini. And I do believe we have one other item, which is um, the cucumbers. So I got all of the produce from the 99 cent only store. So that's going to do it for the 99 cent only store. Next, we're going to get into King Dollar. King Dollar is one of the places I like to go to pick up a few things. Um, one, because they do have everything for a buck 25 or a variation of a buck 25. Um, and they have name brand uh, products as well. And this is my favorite scent of the Downy uh, fabric softener, which I use and I use the Downy balls. Um, and then they have um, the Huggies brand wipes. And I put these on the back of all the commodes in my house because a girl likes to stay fresh. <laughs> they also had these Oreo mix. Um, I haven't tried these either. We've had Oreos before, but I'm assuming that um, this is just like a mix of the white and the regular Oreos, the vanilla and the regular Oreos, but they're like, I guess like the little minis for a snack. This is a product here that I'm interested in trying. They had two different flavors, although because of the writing, I wasn't absolutely sure what the difference in the flavors are. But this is um, the seasoning, and it's like a, I don't know if it's a liquid or if it's a powder. It kind of feels like a, a liquid, but I'm not sure. So when we open it, I'll have to, I'll have to let y'all know. And so basically, um, if you've ever had the roasted corn from one of the trucks, like in front of Fiesta or one of the other locations, um, then this, I think this is the seasoning that goes on it. And so here on the back... Let me see if I can get it to focus. It says to um, add according to taste. And for those who are curious about the sodium, um, I guess it's going to focus for me. For It says three quarters cup, and there's two serving sizes in here, but you don't need that much. There's 23 grams of carbs, three fibers, four sugars, three grams of protein, 790 milligrams of sodium. But once again, that's in three, that's in almost a whole cup of this stuff. And so if you um, make your corn and then say, for example, you, um, the corn serves maybe four or five people, then obviously you're going to. If you use a three quarters of a cup, you're gonna divide that by the number of servings that you actually have with your corn. So y'all do the math and you'll be able to tell how much sodium that is. But anyway, this is the, the front of the packaging again and they have another one. And once again, this is from King Dollar. One of the re, uh, repurchases that I get from King Dollar is my soak. I get this one, which is a eucalyptus. And then I also get this one, which is the um, green tea and chamomile right here and this is Epsom brand the Epsom brand uh, Epsom salt and those are really good but what I found was very interesting is that I ran across this as well and this is a bath soak so what I'm gonna do I normally mix those two together and but I'm gonna mix those two and then I'm gonna add this in the container with it and then I usually have a a little cup about this big that I, I put one scoop in my bath. I also ran across this 
the Healing Garden Eucalyptus Mint uh, Body Epsom Salt Scrub. So I'm curious to see how this works and if you can see it has tape on it. So make sure nobody's sticking their fingers in it because that's just nasty. Um, and then in our new place, we actually have a dishwasher that works. The last place, our dishwasher melted every single thing that you put in there if it was not glass. Um, and so now we have a brand spanking new dishwasher in the kitchen. So I can use the dishwasher. So here is a number, another um, product that I'm anxious to try. Um, this is the Cucumber Mint Naturals Cucumber Mint um, Hand Soap. And I opened this, I twisted off the top, and it smells so good. Dye-free, paraben-free. So I'm, I'm curious to see um, if it leaves your skin soft. Uh, a product that I'm going to be reviewing is this little whisk. I saw this, and I was like, okay, y'all excuse my fingers. I got to go get a pedic uh, manicure and a pedicure. Um, so I was curious to try it out. So basically, on the box, it says that... This is what it looks like. So what you do is you push down on that handle and it's supposed to spin that part so that you can whisk whatever it is like eggs or whatever. So I'm gonna try this out and review it. I don't eat eggs, but my husband does. So we'll be able to check that out. My husband is a huge cereal fan. So this is an off brand. Oh no, this is General Mills. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. I thought this was an off-brand cereal. But it's made, it's General Mills. This is the family size box, which is um, one pound, which is 18 ounces. And this is the Mocha Crunch uh, flavored cereal. Let me give you a shot of the, um, the little cup on the front. Um, I'm not really huge on cereal. If I eat it, I'll probably eat it dry or just barely wet with almond milk. So, you know, don't really eat it all that much. And he's a huge chocolate fan too. And then here is the, um, I was trying to see, this is the Snack Pack brand chocolate pudding for the hubby. So he likes chocolate. I'm not really a huge, I mean, I don't mind chocolate every now and then, but I, I can't do chocolate like that. So, and then here I have the, um, this kind of boosts your laundry. So as you can see, it says it has a super stain lifter. It's good for color clothes, um, and it's for white clothes. It's like that OxyClean, but it's in um, the little pouches, if you can see. And you just throw those in with your laundry. And then the last items from uh, King Dollar, I was able to get him these two, the Axe brand. He likes Axe. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, Men's cologne, I have a hard time with the smells because ever since I had my daughter, a lot of uh, the men's colognes and stuff like that smells like ammonia to me. So anyway, this is the Excite scent. And then I was able to get the Dark Temptation. So anybody who likes the Axe brand body wash, and then this is actually in, let me see if it'll tell you how much. I don't see the size on here. I don't see the size on here, but anyway, um, I guess to give you an idea, these two containers, this is a 10 ounce container and so is this one. So if it's standing side by side, that's about how tall. the. And then that is it. So now we are on to our Walmart haul. And so at Walmart, um, I like to get their Great Value Orange Juice. Um, I don't drink a lot of it because of the sugar, but every now and then, especially when I'm feeling a little hypoglycemic, I like to grab me a, um, a glass of orange juice, and I actually prefer the Great Value brand. I'm not a fan of pulp, so I usually try to get the kind that has the calcium and vitamin D, um, and that it does not have pulp in it. Um, I'm going to have my grandbaby pretty soon, and so I try to grab... Uh, a couple of things of candy cane so we can try to make things a little festive for him um, and uh, we haven't put up a tree not really sure if we're gonna make it or not because like I said we just moved so we're just getting settled in I love these little cookies here and every now and then I like to you know grab a shortbread or two treat myself so I don't, I'm not real big on like junk and stuff like that, but every now and then, you know how it is. We ladies, we get our cravings and stuff, so that's how it is. 
Um, this reminds me of Listerine. I've, I've bought the Equate brand mouthwash from Walmart for, I know, 10, 10 years or more. And um, the Listerine is a little too strong. The scope is not strong enough. And so I found that the Equate brand uh, mouthwash, it has the right balance. The other thing is I usually try to make myself a uh, soup. But this go around, I'm just, with all the moving and everything, I'm really tired. I've been experiencing some uh, pain in my limbs and things like that. So I just wanted to kind of... Um, take some shortcuts this week to try to give myself a break from having to worry about any of that. And so um, my husband loves the Progresso soup and I thought I'd grab him one and grab me one because um, he likes to eat that for lunch sometimes and it's been 40 degrees here in Houston so I figure soup is definitely in order. So I got him the roasted chicken and vegetable soup and I got me the zesty southwest style vegetable soup because it doesn't have any meat in it other thing is I need to get my nails done so um, I just want to try to do some preventative <laughs> love on my hands before I make it to the nail shop because I'm not really sure when I'll be able to go um, because I'm still unpacking my house so we'll have to see I definitely don't want to be unpacking with fresh nails um, the other thing is we just do uh, for pain naproxen no big deal and then um, this is one of my favorite uh, Scents I get this by Airwick, and then the scent that I like is called the Paradise Retreat. And usually they have like this little tester thing you can scratch it and um, smell what uh, it smells like, and I just love it. And if you see, it has uh, coconut, almond blossom, cherry. You know, it's like a mixture. It smells really, really good. And as as usual, this is my favorite brand. My favorite brand is Gain. Um, and my favorite scent is lavender, so I always try to pick this up. And I don't ever get uh, the one bigger than this. My husband likes me too, but to me, because I have to um, deal with, you know, picking stuff up, I, I try not to get big containers of anything because it hurts my hands. So now, last but not least, is going to be our Kroger haul. And I like to go to Kroger. Kroger is a little expensive um, for a lot of different things, but there are some things that um, actually are within my price uh, point for these particular products. Um, and I try to be loyal to go to Kroger for these things because I've gone to different places and I have found that they are actually quite a bit more. So one of the things that we like to get is the Powerade. Um, I can't have any sodas, I stated before, so I drink, um, I don't drink Kool-Aid because of the sugar. I do the Powerade. I've tried the Powerade Zero and all that, and it has a really weird taste to me. And so I'm one of those kind of people that if I don't like it, I won't drink it. So between this and water, I cannot drink water all the time. I have tried that even after I had my surgery, and I just can't do it. I'm just, I'm just not willing to, to deal with that because... Um, my preference is to have something in my water and to do the flavor packets and you know things like that they get real old real old so this go around we picked up a watermelon strawberry and we picked up a strawberry lemonade this is for the hubby because I don't do anything orange um, and then this one is a citrus passion fruit this one is white cherry and this is my favorite which is the mountain berry blast the hubby needed some um, creamer for his coffee. He usually gets hazelnut, which is awfully gross to me, but that's what he likes. This go around, he said he wanted to do just the plain vanilla and add hazelnut syrup, which we already had in the house. Let me tell you about this product. I'm actually going to include this in one of my in my product review, but I definitely wanted to mention it this go around. I am a huge fan of Starbucks. I am a gold member on the Starbucks Club. And I'm always on the search for coffee that I can brew at home that is just as smooth. This will clean your clock. I love me some dark coffee, but on top of it being dark, this is Colombian. And this is a Colombian uh, dark, dark roast coffee. And it's for the Keurig Hot. Y'all, this, this was actually on sale for $5.99, I think it was, for 10 cups. And that's pretty good because I think they're running like between seven and eight. Some I've seen uh, maybe nine dollars or whatever, but ridiculous. But that coffee is so good. You know, it is really is very bold. Um, and I love it with my cinnamon vanilla creamer. 
So, as I stated before, I had my cilantro because we're going to do tacos. I don't make a big deal out of brands. This is the Kroger brand for taco shells. And usually if you put them in the oven for a quick second, they make them nice and crispy. And then you can just add all your toppings and everything. And obviously I do the Beyond Burger meats. Um, every now and then I'll get the crumbles, but I don't like the texture of the crumbles. But, dang. So this I found at Kroger, and I do this every now and then, especially when I know that we're going to be eating the salads pretty quickly. And this is what we're going to have probably tomorrow and, th and um, Tuesday. And this is a chef salad for the hubby. It was marked down, manager special for $1.99. And then they had this one, which I have never seen anything like this before. And this says it's the tropical line. It's marked down to uh, $1.79. And it is... Uh, tropical lime salad and it says you shake it it has um, green cabbage broccoli stalk napa cabbage curly kale italian kale y'all excuse me i'm doing laundry and now my washing dryer is inside my part my townhome as opposed to being outside on the porch um dried pineapple dried mango dried papaya white sesame seeds golden flax seeds roasted red quinoa Thin, crunchy noodles and a creamy coconut lime dressing. So this is so, this sounds very, very interesting. And I'll have to let y'all know um, if this is any good. So this is what I'll be taking for lunch tomorrow. And I actually picked up because they only had two left since they were uh, marked down. I picked up two, one for me and one for the hubby. And since he does Kool-Aid, he wanted sugar. And I'm, I'm not spending a bunch of money on brand sugar, so... And then I use this, it's called the seasoning blend, and it has the trinity, which is the um, onion, bell pepper, and celery um, for you to make mix with just about anything. I bought Hubby um, because we were in a pinch last week. We were really, really busy, and um, we needed something quick for both of us to be able to take to work. And we had pots that were packed down and all that kind of stuff, so we just didn't want to deal with... Uh, trying to get all of that stuff unpacked and so he was he grabbed some hot pockets and there's five in here and this is the actual um, breakfast ones as you can see this one has sausage egg and cheese um, and it is uh, in a croissant and he really liked these I don't think that um, he had I'll have to give you, uh, take a screenshot of the ones he has up there now because I don't think that he got the sausage egg and cheese but I'm not certain Anyway, this is what he liked. And then here's some Rotel for me to mix for our tacos. So that is, oh, I forgot about this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting about stuff, right? So I love the Chobani brand yogurt. So this is a Chobani flip. And Chobani has uh, a line of um, these yogurts that have their five flavors and they all have nuts. There's peanuts, peanuts, pecans. Peanuts, pecans, pistachios, almonds, and macadamia nuts. So this is the one that has almonds in it. And I really, really like it. Um, it ha even though it has coconut, um, it doesn't. It has coconut flavor, not actual coconut. Uh, as far as I know. If, the, if it does, it's so fine, I can't tell. And then this is the uh, chocolate haze. This is the one that has hazelnuts in it. And oh my goodness, this is my absolute favorite. Because I love the, the flavor of hazelnuts. And it makes me think about my grandmother because when I was little, my grandmother used to go to um, Hawaii probably a few times a year. And she would always bring back a, um, a container of uh, roasted hazelnuts and then a container of chocolate covered hazelnuts for me. And she had me so spoiled. Um, I really miss her. But yeah, so every time I eat something that has hazelnuts in it, it makes me think of my childhood. And because of the fact that I don't use sugar, and I know some people will say, oh, that's not good for you, blah, blah, blah. Hey, to each his own. This is this is what I do. And it's the um, Kroger brand, like Equal. The pink stuff is nasty. It leaves an aftertaste in my mouth. This is one that I had. It's the Morning Star uh, Spicy Black Bean Enchilada. Uh, this is really good. It has 14 grams of protein, 310 calories. And seven grams of fiber and I like this one because it was very filling I can't eat a lot anyway but it was very filling and 
um, I didn't want for anything after I ate it. And so I got that one for myself. And then I also, now I had never had, um, soba noodles before. And I had seen, um, different stuff about soba noodles on TV, different recipes and stuff like that. And I had never had soba noodles before. So I got those, the, the enchilada and this soba noodle, I got it and wanted to try it out. And I definitely want to repurchase it. The noodles are very um, soft. They're not mushy, but they, you know, they have a nice al dente um, texture to them. Um, the vegetables are, are perfectly cooked. It is just really good. And as you can see, this one has 17 grams of protein. Uh, and it has 14 grams of whole grain and 5 grams of fiber. And I was, oh, 240 calories. So this one, as compared to this one, has um, fewer calories. It has more protein. And uh, this, the black bean enchilada has more fiber, probably because of the beans. But anyway, this, this one is really, really good. So what I got from my hubby, um, we got him... Uh, two bowls last week, but I can't, I couldn't remember what bowls we got. So I just went and picked up, picked him up a couple things. So this is the Fit Kitchen. This is Stouffer's Fit Kitchen Bowls. And this one is the Beef and Broccoli. And let's see. It has 23 grams of protein, 55 carbs, and 22%. Oh no, 23% protein. So let's see. Here go the numbers over here. Uh, okay. Okay. 370 calories, uh, 4 grams of fiber, 21 grams of protein. But, of course, this is real meat. What I eat is not real meat. So, you get a little bit more protein. So, I got them that one. And then I got them this rotisserie seasoned turkey here. And this one has ooh, 21 grams of protein as well. This is the Stouffer's Fit Kitchen Bowl. And this one is the rotisserie seasoned turkey and... 21 grams of protein, 270 calories, so it's 100 less calories than the other one. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for my my haul. And this is just a, a once-over of everything that I got. And I don't have prices for you because I'll have to do the calculations a little late, later on. You know, maybe, maybe not. I didn't spend a whole lot of money. I don't usually spend uh, more than about 80 bucks a week. Um, and I don't believe I spent my entire um, grocery budget this shopping trip. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. And stay tuned for our taste test. And we will pull a few products out of this grocery haul that we can taste and share with you and let you know you know what they're like and whether it's worth the purchase and we just want to thank you for joining us and as usual love yourself love somebody else and until next time take care bye one thing i forgot to include was the fact that we picked up some drinking water so i'm not really sold on the alkaline water yet <laughs> so for me as long as it's in a bottle i'm good to go